All she ever wanted was my heart to hurt No attachments, just a Gucci purse I went from balling at the park to balling out for real What is up guys, welcome back to my channel If you are new here, go down hit that red subscribe button for me And if you are not new, I appreciate you guys coming back Alright, today we got a special video for you guys I am going to show you guys how to find out if your girlfriend is cheating on you. This could also apply to if your boyfriend is cheating too. It goes vice versa. For this specific video, it's going to be finding out if my girlfriend is cheating on me. Alright, the first step in this process is you have to get a disguise. This disguise has to be unrecognizable, something she's never seen you wear before, just in case you are spotted during the stakeout. Once you're virtually undetectable, it is time to move on to the next step. Next, you'll need a burner phone. As you see here, I've done this one or two times myself, so I have four burner phones. Some of you guys are wondering why a burner phone. If you guys have watched any crime shows in the past, you know any cell phone could be tracked. If she calls her CIA friends and tracks me during the stakeout, she'll know I'm right outside of her work. She might not do the suspicious behavior we're looking for. That is why we need a burner phone. If you're under 23, you might not know this, but if you press star six seven before their phone number, it blocks your number. So that is what we're gonna do today with our burner phone. We're gonna star six seven Emily, find out if she gives me the same answer as she does the stranger calling her. All right, once step two is complete, you have your disguise. Oh, my sunglasses. Guys, so once step two is complete, you have your burner phone, you have your disguise, undetectable by anyone. Step three, we're gonna need to steal a car. So guys, yes, it is still me. I know this disguise is very good. All right, so the key is you cannot use your own car. That is why we're stealing a car. If Emily notices my Jeep parked outside of her work, she's gonna know I'm stalking her, or no, I'm not stalking her. She's gonna know I'm on a stakeout and suspicious behavior is gonna be gone. So instead, we're gonna use this car that was randomly parked in my driveway that happens to be my dream car. All right guys, once you have those first three steps done, you have the outfit, the disguise, you have the burner phone, and you have the stolen car, now it's time to go to her place of work and stake out. All right guys, so we just pulled up to Emily's job. I think I got the address right. I mean, it looks like the building she works at. Um, I know with labor and delivery, sometimes the room they're in has windows, so I do have to be a little careful because I know there is two windows that I'm going to have to pass here. Anyone knows any successful stakeout starts with snacks because it's a waiting game. So if your body ends up needing food and you have to leave, you ultimately lost right there. Luckily for me, where Emily works, you can grab food. They do have a calf. Let's run through and get some snacks, yo. Hopefully she's not in one of these windows, guys, or else my cover could be blown right away. Although I do have the disguise, I do have the stolen car. No, I'm good. Yo, I have a YouTube channel if you're bored. Oh, we gotta spread the word, y'all. I really think if Emily saw me through this window, she wouldn't even recognize me. All right, some people definitely just laughed at me because I'm trying to make a YouTube video, but like, fuck them, man. I'm 27. I got nothing better to do. All right, guys, we found my spot. I'm across the street right now, so it doesn't look too suspicious. Very essential to um, get snacks. Oh. I ate one of my hairs. It is time to use our burner phone that we selected to make a prank call. All right guys, so one negative to this plan, I do not memorize Emily's number and I left my real phone at home. I cannot make a call with this burner phone without her number. We gotta head back to the house, get the number, come back to the stakeout spot, so let's go. All right guys, we made it back. Got the burner phone, got my real phone. Yo, is that her? Oh shoot, get down, get down, get down. Oh shit, false alarm, just a squirrel. All right guys, so unfortunately I do not have any more iTunes gift cards to make this classic work. So we might have to skip the Star 67 phone call from an iPod that for some reason I expect it to work and go straight to the text message and uh, see what this suspicious girl is up to. This is how you find out if someone's cheating on you. All right, so I just hit her up. Hey, I got a question. It said, are you cheating on me? Just on how she answers this will tell a lot. She could give me a, no, what the fuck are you talking about? I did not hang out with so-and-so and give herself away. She could hit me with the, change the subject and give it away. She could hit me with the, are you cheating on me? Which is also another sign of giving it away because you're just trying to ignore the fact that you're cheating and trying to turn it on me to see if I'm cheating. She's not doing a stakeout, I'm doing a stakeout, so she can't be asking that question. 
Yo, I know real hair isn't plastic, but god damn. All right guys, so obviously the, uh, the iPod was a fail without the iTunes gift cards. So we're just gonna go to the, um, the final strategy here. You know it'd be real crazy if she just responded yes and she, oh she responded what? No. Well, there you have it guys. That is how you find out she is not cheating on you. Definitive proof, she was surprised with the question. A bold no period, which means she loves me, she is not cheating on me. So guys, if you are wondering if your girlfriend and or boyfriend and boyfriend, maybe you have one of each or maybe you have two of one, whatever the case may be, this is a great way to find out if your significant other is cheating on you. It is foolproof. Um, the only thing I would suggest an upgrade on is the burner phone. But alright guys, as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Wanna be forgotten? What's up? Yeah, yeah. If you still stay by me.